All right, Todd. First off, you were supposed to be in Lincoln, Nebraska when we talked last week. How did this come about that you found yourself in the Mohegan Sun playing three games in three days, including knocking off Virginia? <laughs> I mean, it's just it's going to be that crazy type of year, I think. And yeah, we you know when we were supposed to go to Lincoln and that thing fell apart, and we were fortunate that a spot opened up here, and uh, we, we wanted to, we just wanted to compete, you know. So we we jumped out here. Obviously, it was a long trip. Um, we didn't play very well the first night, but just just appreciative for the chance to play these games. And uh, you know, after that, we kind of shook off the rust the first night. I think our guys played really well the last two days. So you're big in analytics. Give me the analysis on Virginia makes 15 threes to knock off Towson. In your game, they only make three, and you made 13. They attempted 13. Yep. What's the analysis of that? No, I mean, that, that's the only way we could win this game. <laughs> to be honest, we, you know, I want to give a lot of credit to our players because they did a wonderful job of executing the game plan, defensively specifically. Uh, we did a really good job of sticking to Hauser, sticking to Murphy, guys that got going against Towson. We limited their shot attempts and made them finish tough twos over us. And they banged a lot of mid-range shots. And uh, we, we just said, stick with it, live with it, live with it. And uh, you know, credit to our front court players. I think they made four threes in the last 12 minutes of the game. And that was uh, the equalizer. I mean, I, help me out here. I mean, you all, you played this, the, it's kind of weird. You played a common opponent here because they took a day off. How much did that help in the scout that it was basically the same team you both were playing? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it, it, how much it helped or hurt. Oh, you mean when they played Towson, you mean? Yeah, it, I mean, uh, they played great against Towson. I mean, they've made a ton of shots. Um, you know, the one thing I think we picked up in that game is you can't guard Jay Huff with a five man. If you do that, he's going to pick you apart all night. So Yurka Tam did a wonderful job on him. We started our big man on McCoy. Uh, and the other thing we picked up, you know, Jamari Bouye did a fantastic job guarding Kihi Clark one-on-one. -on -one. You know, he was able to go into that ball screen and use his size and length to bother him on those finishes. And uh, again, without, we, we were physically and mentally tough for 40 minutes and that helped us get this job. This is game one. You're used to going against a top five team in Gonzaga. Um, now you knock off one essentially in Virginia. Um, what does this do for you and this program? Yeah, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's an important moment for us, you know. We, like you said, we competed really well against Gonzaga last year, but we didn't finish the job in three tries. So for us to get another elite program who uh, has one of the best coaches in the country and one of the toughest teams, uh, for us to be able to push through and get this win should catapult us and give us that belief that we can play with anybody. You know, we've talked before about this non-conference is sort of get what you can get. Uh, you still have another game to play here uh, against Rhode Island, but um, on a neutral court, Plucking off a win like this against Virginia, what can this do if you can take care of business, which you know, yeah. like every other team going forward? Yeah, I mean, it gives you it gives you a chance to get in the at-large conversation for sure. Uh, you know, Virginia is going to be a top five, top ten team all year, so we have that under our belts. Uh, you know, I think I think people will look more fondly on this win than they look negatively on our first game, knowing that you know it was the first game of the season and guys were shaking off their rust. Um, but really, what I think it most why it's most important is, is just that belief, that belief in our program, that what we do every day is about winning, is about giving up yourself for the greater good of the program. And if we can continue on that trajectory, we should keep getting better and better and better. You know, we have a lot of, of new faces, a lot of guys playing different roles. And uh, to see them step up makes me really proud of our young guys. And last thing, Todd, you came here to get games. Um, you know, Vill Villanova is now going to play Virginia Tech. I mean, this kind of controlled environment at least in the non-conference, what would be your critique or your review of pulling something like this off? No, you know, the, the Hoop Hall of Fame has done a phenomenal job. To be honest, it's, uh, we feel incredibly grateful to be able to be here, you know, and, and they've done a great job keeping everybody safe, keeping everybody distanced. Their testing has been on point, on target. The meals have been good. It's just a, it's a high level event, high level environment, and obviously, Getting to play these four games in the first five days of the season is something that uh, should really help us as we get into the, the meat of our schedule. Congratulations, Todd. Thanks, Todd.